Hello friends, well, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today you are coming along with me as I get this house clean from putting all Christmas away. We have tons of dust, glitter, flocking from the Christmas tree, fluff from our cute puppy Paige's toys that she likes to tear apart. There's fluff everywhere. So we're gonna give this house a good cleaning, dusting, and vacuuming. I'm working on the main area of my home and the buffet table in my kitchen. And I filmed this for you on New Year's Eve, so I woke up that morning ready to go, took a hot shower, kept my sweatpants on and a t-shirt, and I just got comfortable and got to work. I didn't want to be in jeans, I wanted to be comfy. And my sweet reward was to be with my husband later that evening enjoying a yummy Chinese takeout and a movie. So I really dusted and vacuumed really well because I was still seeing some things from Halloween, especially around in this spot here where I had the village. So I wanted to dust very well and vacuum very well. You could see all the flocking gets in the crevices and corners. So I had my Kirby vacuum out. We got the Kirby vacuum a year ago. We were saving our pennies for it. They came around and knocked on our door last year and we're like, yep, we already know we want you. So it's a very good vacuum. So I used my attachments to really help pick up the glitter and the flocking. So I really worked in the grooves, in the corners, because like I said, I was still picking up things from Halloween. One day this space is gonna have a wood stove, so having the Christmas tree in this corner was so pretty. And so we just keep Paige's bed there with the wreath and that window frame there because we don't know what else to do with the space. So I did add a little basket for Paige to be able to put her toys in. It's a little deep of a basket. I might need to find like a real wicker type basket that's a lot more shallow for her to dig for her toys, but she's doing pretty good with that. So I'm giving everything a good dusting. The baseboard's a good dusting and I'm doing minimal decorating. I had to go back and watch our home tour that I shared with you guys when we moved in to see how I decorated before Halloween because I heavily decorate for three months. Well, actually four, because I start Halloween in September. So I definitely went deeper in my cleaning. And I love how you guys are so concerned about me doing it all. Friends, this is She's in Her Apron, and my family does get involved and do things. I My kids do a lot behind the camera, but like I said, this is She's in Her Apron, and you're seeing me do the things. But believe me, my family does help out. They do have chores. My kids have chores and cleaning zones in the home just like I do. So I love that you, you worry about me thinking I do too much, but the family sure does a lot, and I appreciate them. I'm loving this Kirby vacuum. I, this is not a promotion, but oh my goodness, it sucks up everything. It's fantastic. It is heavy though. It is a beast, but so worth it. So I'm picking up the chairs. I really like these chairs we got from Ikea, um, and we got them last year. If you wanna see a living room slash office that we redid in the rental that we were in last year, I'll leave a link for the video down below, but these chairs are so comfortable. I fall asleep in them a lot when I'm editing, Oh my goodness, you guys are way comfortable. So I made sure I lifted them up, vacuum underneath. I washed down all the end tables and really got them clean and just deep vacuumed everything. This is where I was, I wanted to go on a tangent with my ADHD. I wanted to vacuum the couches and really get in there, but I thought, no, that zone is coming up for the month. And I had to tell myself like, no, don't go too deep into your cleaning because your zone is coming. Just get everything wiped down really well and dusted and vacuumed. Don't go into the things and start a whole new project. And that is hard for me, you guys. I squirrel really, really bad. So I had to keep telling myself, <laughs> just stick with the plan, stick with the plan. These shelves here are from Ikea, love them. And I took all the books off to really display the nativity scenes 
here and I really wanted them to pop because I didn't have the space for them to go anywhere else. So Derek came out and put all the books back on the bookcase and I will reorganize them later, but he was so great to get them on for me. Our desk really blew up over Christmas. I tried to keep it clean as much as I could, but it got bananas. So I cleaned that off, put everything where it needed to go. The computer screen does need a good washing, but Derek does that. I'm always so nervous because you have to use the right products and things, so he's going to take care of that. But I'm just making sure that everything is dusted very well to start off our new year. Oh, it always feels so good to get things in order for the new year. So there are things underneath that desk, like I have a Sunday basket for she's in her apron. I have my journal down there with all my stickers that I use for journaling. So those are just there for now. Like I said, I wasn't going deeper into projects because I will I will lose focus. Tell me down below, do you lose focus like I do with ADHD? Like sometimes it's hard to stay on task. You see one thing, you go, you're like, ooh, ooh, I have a hard time staying on point. And I'm aware of it, so I have to just keep telling myself, nope, nope, stick to the plan. Okay, so this is the only thing that I share with you in my kitchen is the buffet table because everything else was fine the counters I didn't do any major decorating or anything like that so this area needed a very good dusting with the window sills because I, I decorated on there and the buffet table now if you guys followed me um, from the beginning of this home I kept the buffet table very simple when we moved in and then October it was crazy full with my apothecary jars and then November with Thanksgiving I didn't go too crazy um, and then Christmas yes so back to very simple and basic on this buffet table. I have a lamp that we keep in the middle that we kind of use like as a night light at night. And then I put out my baker's covered tray, I guess, cake stand that I did get from a local bakery. And this will always have something fresh that I make for the week in there. And then this baker's tray to kind of match it. And I just put my foodie sign on top. Very simple. This is how it's going to be until October because I don't want to clutter the kitchen. So very, very simple. Nothing else on the windowsills except for those two things that you saw. Keeping it clear and simple. It just feels so, so good. I got this welcome to our home sign at, at home one year. And so this is always there when it's not the trinity of the holidays, October, November, December. I had this tablecloth on the kitchen table starting from Christmas Eve until New Year's Eve. And so it was time to take it off and give the table a good wash. Like I said, I didn't go into the detail cleaning because that is coming up in the kitchen zone cleaning. And I am going to be putting in my zone cleaning for that week a detailed scrubbing of the table and chairs. So right now I'm just wiping it down as best as I can and not going into the deep cleaning of it. I get a, a lot of questions about this table where I got it. It was actually a hand-me-down from my in-laws. They ended up getting a new dining room table. She did get it at Pottery Barn, if you're wondering, and it used to be black. Um, we had a friend paint it, and, um, and it needs repainting. I'm actually gonna have the people that did my cabinets in the first She's in Her Apron home uh, redo this table. Um, but I love that it could fit a ton of people around it. I keep all the leaves in it. It's beautiful. And it came with 10 chairs, which is awesome. Uh, if you want more cleaning videos, you guys, let me know down below in the comments. What would you like this coming year for footage? I know I asked in another video and a lot of you answered. So thank you so much. So down below, please leave me what you would like to see from me in 2021. Um, I do this for you and I absolutely love it. So I want to know what I could do to help motivate you or help you plan for something, meals, freezer meals, emergency preparedness, food storage, or just cleaning motivation. Please leave it all down below. And look at the living room. Oh, that feels so good. Minimal decorating. The space feels so open. The kids loved it. I loved it. You know, and then I get excited when fall comes to start all that fun decorating. But it's always so nice when Christmas is over and the holidays are over and everything is just so simple, crisp, and clean. This feels so motivating and I am motivated to do so much more 
and it just starts off the new year so right. Um, if you haven't put away your Christmas yet and need some motivation, I do have that video down below where I did that for ya. So I hope this motivated you to get cleaned up from Christmas and the holidays. It feels so good. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Happy New Year, and I will see you soon. Bye.